It may have taken decades to develop the F-15, but it didn't take long for the world to figure out the combat potential of airplanes. The F-15, this remarkable aircraft is getting up in years. It has been around since the early 70s. According to the US Air Force, it has a perfect combat record with over 100 victories and zero defeats. As we'll see, its success is due to its phenomenal maneuverability, advanced electronic equipment, and fearsome firepower. The F-15 Eagle is a small, highly maneuverable jet plane designed to fly combat missions in all weather conditions. Its primary mission is maintaining air superiority. In other words, its ultimate purpose is to defeat other planes in aerial combat. The United States Air Force commissioned the plane after they got a look at the MiG-25, a powerful fighter jet the Soviet Union unveiled in 1967. The MiG-25, commonly known as the Foxbat, was far superior to the primary U.S. fighter jet at the time, the F-4 Phantom, and in the heart of the Cold War, the Air Force needed a comparable aircraft as soon as possible. McDonnell Douglas won the contract for the new project and delivered the finished F-15 a few years later. The company has introduced several variations on this plane since then. An F-15 has most of the elements you'll find on an ordinary jet plane. It has two wings that generate lift, it has rear vertical and horizontal stabilizers and rudders that balance and steer the plane, and it has twin turbofan jet engines at the rear of the plane that generate thrust. The main difference between an F-15 and an ordinary jet is how these elements are balanced. The F-15's twin engines Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW-220s or 229s have a very high thrust-to-weight ratio, meaning they are relatively light for the amount of thrust they generate. They can generate almost eight times their own weight in thrust. The plane body is relatively light too, though it is extremely strong. The wing spars are made of titanium, which is lighter and stronger than steel, and most of the skin is made of lightweight aluminum. The engines are outfitted with afterburner nozzles, which can provide an extra kick of thrust when necessary. The afterburner simply injects fuel into the hot jet exhaust stream. It ignites, adding to the hot gases shooting out the back of the engine. At full force, plane can get up to more than Mach 2.5, approximately 1,854 miles per hour. The main thing that sets the F-15 and other modern fighters apart from their predecessors is their flight control systems. Early fighter pilots controlled their planes mechanically by moving linkages and they mainly used their own eyes to target enemy planes. In stark contrast, nearly every aspect of the F-15 is computerized. The plane is essentially a robot. It has a central computer is connected to an array of advanced sensors based on input from the inertial guidance system which contains highly sensitive gyroscopic sensors and the pilot the computer activates hydraulic actuators to adjust the wings and rear stabilizers the pilot doesn't actually fly the plane directly he or she gives instructions and the computer decides how to carry them out 
The computer is constantly making flight adjustments on its own to improve flight performance. The computer artificially creates a relatively smooth ride. The F-15 computer can make necessary adjustments in milliseconds, about a hundred times faster than a human being. Pilot's controls are also fairly straightforward. Pilot steers the plane with a control stick located in the center of the cockpit and controls the engine with the throttle on his or her left. Both controls have several buttons and switches that operate the radar equipment. Select options on the heads-up display and target and fire the weapon. The F-15 Strike Eagle has an additional station in the back of the cockpit for a weapons systems officer. In the Strike Eagle, the weapons systems officer is in charge of selecting and eliminating ground targets while the pilot concentrates on maneuvering the plane and fighting enemy aircraft. The F-15 Eagle is loaded up with weaponry that can take out almost every aircraft in existence. It sports eight air-to-air -air missiles of different designs and carry various combinations of AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles. AIM-9L Sidewinder missiles, or AIM-7F Sparrow missiles. The F-15 also has a built-in machine gun, an M61 20mm six-barrel cannon mounted inside the starboard. The gun has an efficient Gatling gun design that can fire about 6,000 rounds per minute. It never gets the chance, however, because its magazine only holds 940 rounds. It can empty its entire magazine in less than 10 seconds and it can also carry just about any air-to-ground missile in the Air Force arsenal. It often carries guided munitions, such as the, the GBU-15 bomb. Combination of high maneuverability Sophisticated electronics and powerful weaponry have made F-15s a hugely successful weapon in the United States arsenal. But now it's approaching the end of its run. Boeing and Lockheed Martin have already developed its replacement, the F-22 Raptor.